Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Gerasol Vintage. For this week's video, I'm going to be redoing this old server that I got from one of my friends for free. She said she didn't have any room for it um, in her house because it's really big. It's actually 5'7 and it won't fit in her new home. As you can see, the top is kind of damaged and it has a ton of scratches. Um, but luckily, the top is solid wood so I'm going to be able to resand it. Um, the front here, as you can see, it has some damage. That nub right there, it's actually gone. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get that uh, back part out of the drawer, but we'll see. And it's in overall okay condition. The top is, I honestly think the top was um, added on later. And as you can see the bottom, it has some missing veneer. So I'm gonna be filling in all those areas with some Bondo. And again, I'm going to be resanding the top. So just go ahead and grab your snack and let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start off by removing the hardware. Now I did find a set of keys and I'll show you guys if they do work. I'm not going to be reusing my hardware. I know I typically reuse it, but in this case, the one of the pieces from the bottom drawer is actually completely gone. It's broken. So you know there's really not much I can do there and it's just it's really damaged I don't I don't really like to reuse damaged hardware every time I buy a piece with a keyhole they never come with the key so I was really surprised to see a set of keys for this piece and guess what you guys they actually do lock they lock the two little doors that open in the middle drawer. And I'm not sure, maybe this is just to hide alcohol. That's what I would use them for. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to cleaning. For this, I'm using as always my uh, favorite go-to product, which is Crud Cutter. And then I'm just using an abrasive sponge to go ahead and clean the top of my piece. I'm also using clean water and a rag so that I can rinse my rag as many times as I need to because this is an old piece and I want to make sure that I do have a clean surface so that I can start sanding. As I'm cleaning my drawers, I'm also removing the drawers to clean the inside. This one in particular had a ton of wax and I'm not sure if they just they used to put their candles in there, um, but it had a ton of wax. So I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the insides. Now I've been redoing furniture for a little while now and I can tell you that it is very very rare to find a piece that has solid wood and this piece in particular is completely solid on top so this allows me to sand down to bare wood without fearing that I'm going to sand through the veneer. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding this piece with an 80 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to continue moving up in grit so that I end up with a nice and smooth um, bare wood. Now here is about an hour worth of sanding in 18 seconds. If you don't believe me, just look at the shadow my house is casting on the background. I think that's pretty cool. If you're going to fill in your holes or previous holes, go ahead and add some tape to the back of it so that your whatever filler you're using doesn't go all the way through. For me, I'm going to be using Bondo. This one right here I got at Home Depot. And let me tell you guys, 
the shelves are empty I don't know what's going on it's probably because of all the shipments are stuck out at sea so I ended up grabbing this guy and it's fine it's not a big deal it'll work just fine this one has the blue um, heartener versus the other one has the pink one After filling in the holes and patching up where the veneer was missing, I sanded down any imperfections with my orbital sander in 180 grit sandpaper. I didn't get this on camera, but I also scuff sanded the entire piece for better paint adhesion. I really like how this top turned out after sanding it down, and I thought about not staining it, but the green is just so beautiful that adding a darker stain would make the top pop a little more. For this, I'm using Special Walnut by Verithane. You can use a rag or a sponge to apply the product, and in this case, I'm using a sponge to apply it, and then I'm gonna use a rag to remove any excess stain. For those of you who voted to paint this in black, you spoke and I listened. I'm always looking for paint that is very affordable for you guys, especially if you're doing a big job like kitchen cabinets or a wall unit. You can get this paint at Home Depot and it's their chalk paint line. The color is Classic Noir. This paint can be cleaned up with soap and water and it can be diluted for sprayers as well. I let my paint dry overnight and then I went back with the second coat. If you guys have any questions about this paint, just go ahead and drop them in the comments below. For the top, I'm going to be using my favorite top coat by Verithane. This is a water-based poly in satin and it gives my piece the perfect amount of protection and shine. I'm going to be applying my product using a sponge, but if this is your first time using this product, don't be scared, it will dry completely clear. I went ahead and added three coats for good measure, especially because it's a server and it may be used a ton, especially during the holidays. 
talking about the holidays, happy Thanksgiving, and what's you guys' favorite Thanksgiving food? Go ahead and put it in the comments down below. Lastly, I will be adding some wax to top coat the paint and I will be drilling new holes for the hardware. I spray painted the new hardware that I got from Home Goods with a rose copper paint from Home Depot. Thank you all so much for watching this video. This Thanksgiving, I am specially thankful for every one of you and I hope to be able to continue sharing more videos with you. Don't forget to show my channel some love by leaving a comment, sharing with your friends, and giving me a thumbs up. Enjoy the final result and I'll see you guys next time for another furniture flip. Bye-bye!